welcome back to a new speed hill i'm so glad to have you back in today's video so i'm going to be showing you how to make an easy mashed potatoes recipe without much talks let me show you how i made this start by peeling your potatoes and then cut them into even pieces this will help them to cook evenly you can choose to leave the skin on or peel it off. It all depends on what you want. Next, rinse the potatoes under running water to help remove dirt or debris that may be on the surface of the potatoes. Add the potatoes to a large soup pot. Add one teaspoon of salt to it and three cloves of garlic. Cover the potatoes with water, just enough to cook it. Now cook the potatoes until they are fork tender. This should take about 15 to 20 minutes to get done. But be careful not to overcook them or they will start to fall apart and become mushy. Once your potatoes are soft enough, Drain them through a colander and return to the pot. Heat the potato for just a minute to help dry off the remaining liquid from the body. It's time to heat up the butter and the milk mixture. In a large saucepan, combine butter and milk and melt on low heat. You don't want the milk to come to a boil but just hot enough to melt the butter. Once the butter has melted, remove this mixture from heat and set aside. Next, use a potato masher to mash the potatoes until they reach your desired consistency. You can also use an immersion blender or a food processor to do this, if you prefer a really smooth texture. Pour half of the milk and butter mixture into the potatoes and gently fold in with a spatula until the potatoes have absorbed the liquid. Stir in the rest and fold in again. You don't have to use all of the milk mixture. Once it has reached your desired consistency, just stop adding and keep the rest for something else. You need half cup of sour cream for this recipe. Gently fold in and make sure it is nicely combined. You can now season the mashed potatoes generously with salt and pepper and fold in again. And here is the final outcome. Just look at that. How creamy and fluffy these mashed potatoes turn out to be. You can top your mashed potatoes with sliced butter and a little sprinkle of black pepper. I'll also add some fresh chives for garnishing. And that's it. You now have your delicious homemade mashed potatoes ready. This easy mashed potatoes goes so well with roasted chicken or beef. So I'm serving mine with roasted chicken like quarter and with a delicious gravy on the side. Give this recipe a try and let me know your thoughts down below. Thank you so much friends for watching this video. If you love it, please give a big thumbs up and share with your friends. Until next time, have a great time. Bye for now.